workers for response. Previously on The Best Defense, we took a look at how popular handgun defensive rounds would perform on cover, specifically shooting into books. This week, we're going to up the ante a little bit. What do you got, Rob? Well, this is a pretty typical AR set up for any kind of home defense or any kind of you know tactical use, whatever you might have. The fact is that a lot of people choose to have an AR-type weapon inside of their home for personal defense or home defense. And it's incredibly likely, if you're inside of your home and you need to use this to defend yourself, that there may be an intermediate barrier between you and the bad guy. Or, you know, it's less likely, but maybe someone's even attacking you in your home with a firearm like this, and this becomes the intermediate barrier that you're trying to use for protection. Now, if it's going to happen in my house and I'm going to an AR, I'm going to have a round like this, the TAP round. It's a great home defense round. This is a civilian version, technically 223. We're going to go ahead and see what it does against these books. Sounds good. You got clear? clear? Let's see what we got. Okay. First book, which is basically the same size as what we've been using for consistency, blew completely through that. And looks like we stopped in the second one. Stopped in the second one. Of course, these rounds are designed to deposit their energy. They're designed to break up. We can see that we already have some small fragments inside of there. In fact, if we take a look, there's the bulk of the bullets going to be about midway through. And you can see that all of this debris in here is all filled with the fragments of that lead alloy that's inside of that round. So the tap round, of course, we talked about it before, how the 223 surprises a lot of people the way it performs. And the tap round is specifically designed to break up and deposit its energy early. And the fact is, when we did our penetration demos last time, and we talked about the drywall scenarios in our first season of Best Defense, a lot of people were really surprised by the performance of the 223. And that time, we used a ball round. This time, let's go ahead and use the ball round again. We'll rearrange the books and see what that ball round would do against this type of cover, which is going to be much closer together and not allow that bullet to tumble, which is really where the ball round breaks up and deposits its energy. Let's see what happens. Clear? Gun's clear. Good. OK, we got impact here. Punch clean through the first book. Clean through the second one as well. Through the third. And through the fourth. And what I think is great is if we take a look at what's happening here, once that bullet was allowed to start tumbling, once that space opened up in here, we can see almost a perfect sideways imprint of the bullet as it went into the far side of the bookshelf. And we can see here, obviously, that it tore into this paper and didn't penetrate smoothly point first the way we'd expect the bullet to do. You know, a lot of people don't realize how important that tumbling is and that space between objects is to the 223 or the 556 action of depositing energy and breaking up. And this is a perfect example of why, if you're going to do a penetration test, it's got to be in context. If you take a series of drywall sheets, for example, and stack them up right next to each other or with very little space in between them and fire a 223 or 556 ball round, you're going to see this. You're going to see it rip through and do a lot of damage and go a long distance. But if you do the test appropriately, the way things are actually spaced inside of a home, three to five inches between sheets of drywall, three feet, five feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, normal room sizes between them, you're going to see this type of tumbling and this type of impact and this type of situation is what you're going to see, what's going to happen. So remember, if you choose to use a 223, a 556 for home or personal defense, think about the type of ammo you carry, think about the types of things you're going to be shooting into, know what you choose and the way it's going to behave.